So we're just going to have a quick get acquainted session. Okay, thanks. Did you make an appointment for me with Dr. Nell? Yes, Judy. I know he's a psychiatrist like me. Yes, I'm okay. Sometimes even a shrink needs to see his shrink. Would you see my patient, Mr. Pfeiffer, in, please? Hello, hello, come right in. Hi, I'm Pfeiffer. Nice gloves. Are those yours? Afraid so. I'm addicted. Ah, yes. I've had the golf club for years. It's one habit I don't care to ever give up. Me neither. I'll play it when I'm naughty if I can sweet talk someone pushing my wheelchair around the course. <laughs> ah, yes. Nothing like it. The sweet serenity of being out on the course combined with the frustration level that makes me want to test my new nail gun out on my neighbor's waterbed. <laughs> Golf with the Dr. Boyd? You know him? No. <laughs> Have a seat. It's difficult in the midst of all this remodeling, but I guess we'll manage. Doc, have you had the chance to go over my case history? I've just given it. For now, this is only a quick meeting. Tell me a bit about why you've come to see me. Well, Doc, lately. <laughs> I've felt so out of touch, like I'm living many different lives and accomplishing nothing in any of them. My whole existence seems pointless. Pointless? Mr. Pfeiffer, no one's life is pointless. Do you, have any, do you have any specific goals at present? You say I've been courting a fair maiden. A noble goal always. There's no better stimulus on earth than that of love. Have you had any success thus far? That may prove to be rather difficult. I last saw her in the 18th century French painting. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I've talked with her, it's been hard sustaining a conversation. We truly come from two different worlds. I'll say. How did you ever come to meet this 18th century leader? Well, Doc, more like an 18th century bimbo. Very lower class. I mean, my family is wealthy, but they would never accept Cynthia. Sometimes I feel like I'm going mad. Considering your love life stands a century too, backing off might be the right move. Right move? What's right about it? You're gonna sit there with that ridiculous pat of yours, cast judgment on me and the one I love, and you've never as much as left out of century? Mr. Pfeiffer, what I meant. What you meant to tell me is who I can and cannot date. Isn't that right? Is that what you think? Next you'll be hating me for the color of my skin. It's the same as mine! No. See, you are hearing <laughs> everything I say. You charge me a fortune for privilege. Didn't you say you're wealthy? Oh, great. Now we get in some money. Five is loaded so we can bleed in dry. What did you do? Check my net worth out before I came here? You're crazy! Of course I am! <laughs> what do you think I came in here for? A cappuccino? Or dancing lessons, perhaps? <laughs> what a bozo! I can't believe I made the mistake of trusting you with this sensitive information. It's not a mistake. Psychiatrists have a very important trust with their patients. I would never violate that trust. Never? Never. Not even if my life depends on it. Oh. 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 
What are you doing? Waiting for an answer. <laughs> About your 18th century woman? Mr. Pfeiffer, I think it's about time to... What time? I'm done with this charade. I'm not going to not to help you What? <laughs> I feel the beam vibration from deep inside. The anger. Let it out. Let it out! Relax and let all your negative thoughts escape. Mr. Pfeiffer? Imagine you're an old, ugly, now real living far up in the middle. Boy, Grant climbed a great cliff in order to give you his last piece of bread, the only thing he has. Mr. Pfeiffer! Unfortunately, the boy has lit the bread with him, and this evening, he quickly goes to painful convulsions. Stop! <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there an easier way to relax me? Wait, hold that thought. My secretary is laying me. Yes, Judy? Yes, Chief. Dr. Boyd can't make it. That's a shame. That's a shame. I guess it can't be helped. Daddy. I'm about through here. Daddy. I'll be out in a second. Mr. Pfeiffer, I have to. Daddy, Jamie stole my gum bowl. She stole my gum and she's bothering me. Maybe we can do this another time. Daddy, I want a piece of gum, Daddykins. <laughs> Maybe we can do this? Daddy, Jamie stole my bloody gum bowl and I want it back. Make her open her mouth! Slap her! Mr. Pfeiffer! Get down! You're our last help man, Trantham. I know you feel you now the sick and injured, but we must have this heal. If you go down, it's cost us everything! Make it the battle, boy! The battle! I don't have time for this. We will have to do this next Thursday at 4. Next Thursday at 4, we all may be dead! I have a golf game to get to! If you don't fight like me, Sonny, I'll kill you myself! That's enough! Get out! Don't talk to me! Don't even touch me! I'll be glad to leave the moment the first. Let me tell you about our new invention. The lazy bean french fry. Yes, the lazy bean french fry. It fries each fry individually to your own taste. You might think this fine product costs thousands of dollars, but no. A little lady in our audience just offered me four hundred dollars, but no. We'll sell the entire set for. Am I going to have to belch in the mouth to stop this nonsense? <laughs> You're dealing with the wrong doctor. I deal with people's problems all day, and my sanity is already on edge, as it is. And you are certainly not helping matters. How's my Glad you brought that up. <laughs> you have odors around your house. You have odors around your wife. Well, our new product, the laser, the odor monster is guaranteed. Mr. Pfeiffer! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just lost control. It's all in that part. No? You slapped me in broad daylight. Only three ladies in town seen us. Looks like you need a set for a duel. Mr. Pfeiffer, I slapped you because you're spazzing out. The point is, you did slap me. Now prepare to die, Bowman. <laughs> Mr. Pfeiffer, we can't have a duel today. And why not? Because your time is up. It was five minutes ago. Boy, whoa. What do I have here? <laughs> Where did you get that? Looks like I'm the only one on the day. And you're going to die in mighty hard death for slapping Art J. Pfeiffer. Mr. Pfeiffer, think what you're doing. They'll put you away for the rest of your life if you shoot. Sheriff ain't gonna do nothing about it. He's a yeller. Ain't drunk. Besides, it's like I'm the only one armed. Mr. Pfeiffer, if you shoot me, we'll both be sorry. Especially me. <laughs> what do I have here? It didn't fire? Nope, that sounds still again. It looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack! <laughs> Like we'll have to settle this with our bare hands. <laughs> Quit! <laughs> it's over! I ain't even my gun I said quit! I am seeing a shrink twice a week as it is, and you're certainly not helping! You mean you won't treat me, Doc? I'm sorry. Too bad the great Dr. Boyd couldn't make it today. He's done some excellent work with multiple personalities. I can find myself 
to the more normal psychological stages. Um, paranoia, bedwetting, fairly normal people. Just wondering why they're such losers. If you kindly speak to my secretary, she'll set you up with another appointment. I'm sorry, Doc, I just, I just guess it can't be helped. Okay, if you give me a minute, I have to collect a few notes. Joe, what are you doing? A guy walks in here and will give you steady pay for the next 10 years? Sometimes, I think you're getting crazier than your patients. Okay, blow this guy off and play some golf. I'm sorry, the great Dr. Boyd couldn't make it today. Hi, Dr. Boyd. Your colleagues tell me you're quite the guy, Dr. Trantham. Back last year, I read your paper on doctor-patient confidentiality. It's great that you have that sacred trust. You're not. This, this, this isn't. Fellows, this can't be. Would you like to sit here and talk about your last patient, or do you want to go play some golf? I guess, but can I talk to you alone? No, I'm afraid if we talk right now, we'll miss our tea time. <laughs> okay. Judy, can you call my shrink and add an extra hour? I'm going to need it. <laughs> <laughs>